I feel a bit dishevelled today. Possibly am a bit dishevelled. Mainly tired, a little bit coldy. Friday, y'all. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Anyway, hello and welcome to 2015 reading challenge number 35 and today I'm going to be talking about Signal to Noise by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Signal to Noise is magical realism set in the modern age. Now this book is about memory and music and magic and a girl called Meche who we also meet as a woman. In fact we first meet her as a woman returning to Mexico City in order to deal with her father's effects and attend his funeral after he's passed away. She does not want to do this. Um, she had very good reason, as far as she's concerned, for leaving Mexico City 18 years ago, and she hasn't spoken to her father or seen him in 20 years. So, yeah, she is not happy about the situation. We learn what happened, what has made her so reluctant to return to Mexico City in flashbacks, and they take us back to 1988 when Meche was 15. A very vile 15 year old. She has two best friends, Sebastian and Danielle. She kind of uses Danielle, because Danielle's wealthier than both her and Sebastian. And it's clear to the reader that there is more going on between Sebastian and Meche than they would both like to admit or they can both see. She doesn't want to meet Sebastian and Danielle when she returns to Mexico City as an adult circumstances don't quite work out in that way and she does indeed cross paths with Danielle and Sebastian and what happens is this examination of the past. Um, music has always meant a lot to Meche. Music has never stopped meaning a lot to Meche and it always meant a great deal to her even before she discovered what she could do with it. So in 1988 Meche discovered that with the power of music she could make magic. Oh yeah. And as you can imagine, with a teenager who is quite upset with the world and everything, she wants to change so much. And yeah, it's kind of pretty much obvious from the get-go that things are going to go horrendously wrong, especially when she pulls Sebastian and Danielle into it. It's about betrayal or imagined betrayal. It's about abuse of power. It's about what desperation and sadness and hurt cause you to do and what you might do if you suddenly found this extra power to affect the world around you in your hands. And um, with her coming back to Mexico City and meeting her friends as adults and sort of having to confront things that she hasn't bothered to confront. She's been feeling very much wronged for the past 18 years and she sort of has to confront that maybe she wasn't as wronged as she thought. That's part of what makes this novel so interesting, um, as is the music and the use of music. Music provides a vast structure in this novel. Everything that Meche is seems to revolve around music. Her relationship with her father, her relationship with Sebastian, her current life as an adult revolves around music. It's very compelling and vibrant and it feels very real. The magic does not feel like a fantastical element. It very much feels like part of their world. I love magical realism anyway and just seeing it in this sort of modern environment, seeing it sort of dealt with in a completely different way, I, I just, oh, I loved it. It was brilliant. I will read it again, I know, probably several times and um, I would highly recommend that you read it yourself because it is awesome. So there we go, that is Signal to Noise. Next week I'm going to be reviewing a book I actually only read a couple of weeks back um, and that is We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler which did not turn out to be what I thought it was going to be and normally when that happens in a book I'm kind of like nope, I'm done, leaving, but this one it just somehow kept reeling me in even though it was not what I expected and yeah it actually made me cry which rarely happens with books but this one's pretty impactful so yeah next Friday gonna be talking about that so if you would like to see what I think about we are all completely beside ourselves then tune in next Friday thank you for watching today bye bye